This video is not about Corvettes. It's not about electronic bikes. It's not about motorcycles. It's about keeping the virus out of your house. And who better to do that than my wife, Patty? So this is her first video. I'm the cameraman, the guy behind the camera, and she wanted to do this video and wanted, had, has been wanting to do this since the virus first came out. So here we go with Patty and her first appearance on YouTube. The object of this video is to show you some of the tips and techniques that I use not to bring COVID into the house. This is the wrong way. Let's say I just finished shopping and I'm coming into the house and I walk in, I throw my bags on the counter and uh, my purse and, and I've got my wallet in here and I start putting things away into the cabinet. I, I uh, could have gone over here and decided to wash my hands first, but now I've made some other mistakes. So, did you catch all of the different ways I've contaminated things on my way in from the garage? The first thing I did that was wrong was I walked in with shoes that I had. These haven't been outside, but you don't want to walk in with shoes from the outside. That could have been a big mistake. The other mistake is I've got all sorts of jewelry on. I've got a watch with all sorts of grooves that could pick up viruses all over the place. I've got earrings on, I've got a necklace, I've got a barrette. All these are great surface areas for, for you to pick up the virus from the air in the store. Look at my hair, Think, look at the surface area. Think of how many viruses this could pick up if you have your hair down and it's long. Uh, these containers could be, could be contaminated. You don't know what's on these plastic bags, you just set it on your counter. Everything that's in this could be contaminated. You don't want to put it away or set it on your counter. You took a purse with you. Look at all the look at all the areas that could ha carry virus home. What about your wallet? What about if you leaned up against the counter, the the dishwasher handle, the dishwasher? You went over here and you you put your hands here and you maybe turned this. Those are contaminated. What you need is a paper towel to turn this on or move this for you before you get the soap and wash your hands well and uh, use the uh, brush on your knuckles and nails uh, before you touch anything that you're gonna clean. And during the time that you're cleaning things, you wanna keep your hands in and out of soapy water and rinse them so that they stay clean. This is how I actually dress when I go into the store. To decrease surface area, I have my hair pulled up in clips. These clips would, of course, be considered contaminated. And I wear a hat to, to uh, hold everything down. I have protective glasses that you can get in a hardware store. You can go to goggles. I have an N95 mask. I wear uh, gloves because I'll be touching things that a lot of people could have snot coughed and sneezed on. I have a jacket that uh, zips up, uh, tops that zip up at best because you don't have to pull them over your head and spread the virus everywhere. I have pants with all sorts of pockets so I can put my list, my shopping list, my keys, whatever. I have my Faraday bag that I put my charge cards in and any money or anything I might want to bring with me. These are my outside shoes. I leave them in the garage. I never take them inside uh, or wear them inside the house. And um, I also can take them off here, leave them, take my gloves off, and put on some socks I'm gonna wash to uh, go walking in the house. I finished coming in uh, from shopping and taking a shower, shampooing my hair, putting all new clothes and shoes on and I did uh, wash my hands really well and one of the things I found useful was to use a nail brush scrub your nails and any grooves or creases in your hands scrub it, scrub it well and get your hands really clean because you can accumulate all sorts of things under your nails one thing to remember is if you have um, a scratch or a cut 
as I have because I fell off my bike. Um, if these are well scabbed over, you're okay. However, if you have any open areas before you go shopping, you want to make sure you cover them thoroughly with uh, good uh, Band-Aid coverage. Now that we've got everything home, you'll notice that we placed it on old newspaper so that it doesn't come in contact with the countertop. I'm going to show you how to wash. I'm going to use one item as an example. I take off all these tags because I don't know if there's anybody coughed or sneezed or I don't want the virus or anything stuck under this. To get rid of the virus, you have to wash everything good in soap and water. So there we go. And you have to rinse it off. And you can uh, put this water outside, water your plants, because sunlight is what kills the virus. Okay, so all these items are going to be washed, except for a few things. These items are going to go into my spare room, and I'm not going to use them for over 21 days. If you look online, you can find lists that will tell you how long a virus will live on different objects. Different materials hold the virus for a different time. It can last longer on metal, um, shorter amount of time on paper, plastics and other stories. So look online and do your due dil diligence and find out how long it lasts on various items. You'll notice when uh, I'm between objects, I'm putting my hands in water to rinse them off again too. And I just shake them. If you want, you can dry them on a paper towel. This item is something that I'm going to rotate. So I'm not going to wash it because I'm going to put it in the closet uh, behind three or four other jars. And I won't be getting to this for four weeks. So I'm not going to, I don't have to wash it if I want to. I can wash it if I want. It only takes a second. But then, of course, you have to wait for it to dry. So it's up to you, whatever you want to do with that. When I... Um, Get something like this that I'm going to eat. Those this are string is, beans, aren't they? Yeah, those are string beans. Yeah. Um, what I do is I open the bag, I put the string beans in. I put the bag in because I'm going to reuse the bag, so the bag has to be clean. So I clean the bag well. Rinse the bag well. I eat my green beans raw. So that's why I have to clean them really well. If you're going to cook something, cooking at a high temperature will kill the virus. So you don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to rinse each one in a small batch and then put it back in the container that has already been cleaned. Don't bring the virus into the house. If you have any other ideas about cleaning things that come from the outside, please put them in the comment section and please like the video. Thank you.